So DC League of Super Pets follows Crypto the Superdog and his superpowered friends as they try to rescue the Justice League from the grasps of an evil, bold villain. For those of you who don't know, Crypto the Superdog is Superman's dog. And before I give you all my thoughts about this film, I would like to once again thank Warner Bros. Canada for inviting us to a press screening for this film. It was a great experience, we had a lot of fun, and from the bottom of my heart, it means a lot. So thank you, Warner Bros. Canada. Now, when it comes to my thought about this film, I thought it was fine. I thought it was good enough. You know, I guess the best way I could phrase it is this film is exactly what you would expect from an animated movie called DC League of Super Pets. And when it comes to the story of this film, it is serviceable. You know, there is nothing wrong about the story, but there is not much great either. You know, it, it is fine. It is what it is. That said, if I were to point out something that I do feel was a bit weak about the story of this movie is... Okay... So there is a secondary conflict in this film. So, you know, the first conflict of this film is the fact that the Justice League got kidnapped and then Crypto and the other super pets need to go rescue the Justice League. But then there's also a second conflict that is added very early in the film. And the second conflict is about the fact that Crypto, the super dog, is jealous of Lois Lane because now Clark Kent slash Superman is spending a lot of time with Lois Lane and is not spending much time with him. So, you know, Crypto gets all jealous. My point is, I really don't think that second conflict was that necessary, if I'm being honest. It wasn't that interesting, they didn't do much with it, and what they did with it, it just wasn't that original, you know? It was fine, it wasn't like terrible, but yeah, it, it just didn't feel necessary. And when it comes to the characters, I thought Dwayne The Rock Johnson was fine as Crypto the Super Dog. You know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he has a lot of charisma, he's a very charismatic actor, so, you know, of course he's gonna do a good job voicing the character of Crypto the Super Dog. Um, that said, one thing that I need to point out is it is a bit weird that Dwayne The Rock Johnson is now playing two different characters in the current DCEU. You know, of course, he's playing Crypto the Super Dog here in DC League of Super Pets, but he's also playing Black Adam in the, you know, forthcoming Black Adam film, and I know they're set in different universes, so I know it doesn't matter. Still, it does feel a bit weird that he's voicing and playing two different characters in the DC universe, you know? Honestly, the best way I could describe it is it feels as if Chris Pratt, who, you know, of course, Chris Pratt plays Star-Lord in the Guardians of the Galaxy films for Marvel, uh, it feels as if Chris Pratt would just, you know, suddenly voice Rocket Raccoon in an episode of What If?, like, technically, it is fine, because, you know, the What If episodes are alternate universes not tied to the main MCU, but still, it would feel a bit weird. That being said, considering the amount of voice acting roles that Chris Pratt has been getting in the past couple of years, I wouldn't put it past him if he ends up voicing Rocket in a future episode of What If. Now, the next character that I would like to discuss is Kevin Hart as Ace, and when it comes to Kevin Hart as Ace... I thought he was fine. You know, he has some funny lines, but, you know, that is expected because, of course, it is Kevin Hart. That being said, if I'm being completely honest, I was expecting a bit more from the Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Kevin Hart combo. Like, you know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Kevin Hart, they have so much chemistry in real life. They are really good at improvisation. And honestly, like, you can just look at any interview with Kevin Hart and Dwayne The Rock Johnson and you'll instantly see the amount of chemistry in between these two people. You know, it is funny, it is charming, you know, it is improvisational, it is, it is really, really cool. And I don't know, I guess in this film, the chemistry just wasn't there to the same level, at least for me, you know. I guess the best way I could describe it is, you know, the chemistry between Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Kevin Hart in this film felt very restrained, you know. It, it felt like they were sticking to the script, that they were reading the lines, but there wasn't really that much room for improvisation. At least that's how it felt. That said, the one thing that I really did like about the character of Ace is his backstory. You know, there is one scene where Ace is talking to Crypto and he tells him his backstory and everything that led to him ending up in a rescue shelter. And that scene is really heartfelt. You know, it, it is pretty emotional and I really like it. So that scene was actually pretty freaking good. Now, when it comes to the rest of the super pets, I honestly don't have much to say. They're fine, once again. They're, they're serviceable, they do their job, but there's not really that much exceptional about any of them. That said, there is one of the super pets that I do have to highlight, and that is the turtle. I think her name was Merton in the film, I'm not really that sure, but yeah, the turtle was really freaking funny. There is a joke that keeps coming back over and over again with the turtle that really made me laugh, and yeah, I, I just wasn't expecting it. I, I wasn't expecting this children film called DC League of Super Pets to have this joke. And yeah, that was really cool. I like the turtle. Friendly. Update! I'm fast now, but I can't see sh That being said, the best thing about this movie 
is by far Keanu Reeves' Batman. Holy <laughs> sh**. Keanu Reeves is the Batman that I never knew I needed. And, you know, don't get me wrong, Keanu Reeves' is Batman, his character is not really that much in the film. But when he's in the film, he really freaking steals the show. So yeah, Batman was great in this film. And the reason why Batman worked so well in this film is, yes, of course, because Keanu Reeves is a very talented actor and, you know, he has a very iconic voice. But the other reason why the character of Batman works so well in this film is because the writing for Batman is actually quite clever. You know, there are some very funny jokes throughout the film, poking fun at Batman and his lore. And all of those jokes landed and really made me laugh watching the movie. And honestly, the fact that the Batman writing is strong in this film comes to no surprise because the writers for this film worked on the Lego Batman movie. And, you know, the Lego Batman movie is a film that I consider to be very funny and is a movie that I think poked fun at the Batman lore in very funny ways. So yeah, it comes to no surprise that the writing for Batman is great in this film. And if I'm being honest, Keanu Reeves' Batman is the best thing of this film, by far. So in conclusion, DC League of Super Pets, it's fine. You know, apart from Keanu Reeves' as Batman, there is not much in this film that is truly great. But there is not much in this film that is bad either. You know, the story is fine, the characters are fine, the villain is fine, the visuals are fine, the comedy is fine. This film is fine. If I were to give it a score between 1 and 10, I would give it a 6 out of 10. Which means I think this film is good. It's fine. It's serviceable. Mm.